Okay, hello everybody. Uh, this video is about the Biznog BSI 16 and how to get your sound fonts into uh, this app uh, just using your iPad. Okay, so first of all, I, I've uh, stayed away from buying this for ages and ages because I didn't want the hassle of the sound. I wanted the sound fonts, but I didn't want the hassle of going through all of the stuff and didn't know how to do it, didn't know how to get it. So I asked the questions on Audiobus and I'm going to big shout out to people on this uh, this forum and I, I really recommend it if you use any iOS device or audio bus you go and join the audio bus forum so uh, first of all I'd like to thank Alter Ego UK uh, who got me interested in the in the BS um, Fun Junkie 27 who gave me all the great information it works brilliant uh, Jared Sexton for supplying some amazing sounds um, Paul B for uh, converting some of those sounds, MGA4871, because he always comes up with useful information. Uh, let's see, who else? Oh, we haven't forgot to mention anyone there who was involved in this thread. But we're going to head on over to uh, another thread in a sec. But first of all, we're just going to go through how to get those sounds in to your BS16. So, first of all, you're going to need good reader okay this is really important you're going to need good reader because it's the best thing on the planet for getting them files into your ipad and it's really easy to use once you've got around a few of the the, the, the techniques for doing it okay so and then obviously you're going to need the bs16 okay so at the moment there's a couple of sound fonts that i've downloaded but that's what we're going to do is Let's see how we got those. Okay, so first of all, you know, go to the internet. Let's open a, a new a new thing, and we'll just hit free sound fonts. Okay, so um, Hammer Sound is a really good place to start, but there are stacks and stacks of these, and nearly all of them work. The thing with sound fonts is they can be a bit glitchy anyway, but there's so many of them, you're bound to find some that are, that are really cool. So you go to Hammer Sound. Okay, and I and the first thing here is sounds, so get sounds, and we'll start off with sound fonts. Sound fonts, sorry, by Thomas, who's the uh, the is the creator, and these are they're really cool. So we'll go here, and then you've got um, some categories: drums and percussion, melodic instruments, sound effects, and collections. Okay, so we'll go to collections, and we'll pick um, synthetic electronic. Okay, so all you do is you hit download, and it'll take you to this page now automatically because you've got Goodreader installed. If you haven't got Goodreader, it'll take you there anyway, and it'll ask you to open in something else. But because I think BS sixteen is the only thing that uh, that that reads sound font files, I think maybe Jetrament does as well. But anyway, so you'll see that open in Goodreader. So open in Goodreader, and there it is. Okay, so it's zipped up, so you click on it, and it'll ask you if you want to unzip it, so you just unzip it, and there it is. Um, it should be up here somewhere now, so um, HSSE, now there it is, there, okay, and there, HS Electronic 2 is there. So you click on that, okay, so don't that, that's not going to work. So hold it. So long hold. If that if the first thing doesn't make it, just clicking on it takes it out of the screen, forget it. Just long hold. And here it'll say open in in this little box here. You find open in and open in. And that'll give you the, the stack of apps. Don't they don't they don't open in all of these, okay? So but if you've got BS sixteen, it'll there. So you click on that and it'll take you to BS sixteen. And then it'll say this the file uh, and is copied to documents inbox folder so you just click OK then you go to your little settings button here click settings and you've got scene, sound font, song, synth, keyboard hit sound font okay and then you're selected with the four libraries it has four libraries but you can load like all loads and loads of sound fonts into the different libraries but you've got four libraries to select from straight away so let's just replace worldwide and there's the sound fonts that I've loaded on here so far. And where was 
HS Synthetic Electronic. So you highlight that, and in Library 3, you've got the sound font. Okay, so we go back, done, and click on the, the preset selector, and we'll pick Library 3. And now here is that particular sound font. Now some of them are huge, loads and loads of sounds, and some of them are quite small. So the sound we want to use, let's see, let's just uh, try a few, so Solar Winds. Okay, so... So, I'm going to pick another one. Autumn Keys. That's really nice. Now, what you can also do is you've got Reverb Send here. And Chorus. And if you pick the uh, Scale, you can switch the Stain on. So, we've got... got this hooked up to a little micro key. So how great is that? Right, so there is your first way. There is your first way to get sound fonts in. Okay, and it will work with, uh, I think, raw files as well, and, and another file. One file it doesn't work with, but they, there you go. You, it, you'll know. There's so many of these things, you'll, you're going to find some that you like. So let's go and see the second way now, which is cool. This way you're going to have to join the Audiobus forum. Let's just close that and go back to Audiobus. Go to the forum, and we'll find the thread which was get real okay now Paul B at the bottom here put in this link which was another thread that was started on the forum okay so here we go um, on this forum on this thread sorry right at the top there uh, J.M. Sexton had posted some of these really cool, like strings and brass, brass and strings, piano and 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 and, and organ, guitar and bass, drums worldwide, and the, the Roland one. Um, okay, so th these are like you can go there and we'll load up there, and it, you can I can add it to. If, no, I'm not looking for files that have been deleted or moved. Oh, I couldn't be. I'm. I'm. I couldn't be bothered going to my sound there's uh, Dropbox account. But anyway, a bit further down. Oh, sorry. I know this is a bit convoluted, but stick with it. Okay. It doesn't matter because a bit further down, Paul B had already got these onto his iPad and he'd done zip them and he's posted the files. So we're going to download one of these files now, which is orchestrated. Okay, ah, there you go. So you add to my Dropbox. Okay, oh my God. <laughs> sign in. Oh, no, I'm not going to sign in on here. Okay, so the point is, the point is that once you do that, you can go through the same procedure again. So just to, just to recap, get good reader. Get good reader, get the BS sixteen I obviously, then you can go and get your your sound fonts and quickly one more time, we shall go and um, go to free sound fonts. We'll go to Hammer Sound again. We'll go to Sounds, Sound Fonts by Thomas. Oh, this time we'll go to Sound Effects or something different. I'll oh, go on. Let's download Star Trek Sound Effects. Okay, opening good reader. There it is. Uh, unzip it, and it will go. There you go. Sound trick star. Uh, blah 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 blah. And long hold. Open it in. Open the base sixteen. Copy to the inboxes. 
You go to there, select your sound font, select any library, doesn't matter. Search for the sound font you've just downloaded, click, it's done. Go back, done. And we'll pick Star Trek sound effects. Click on that and <laughs> and there's some sound effects from Star Trek, the original series by the sound of it. Okay guys, hope you found this helpful. And and like I said, if you're if you're not on the audio bus forum, go and get on there because it's an amazing place and you'll find out everything you need to know. Later.